Hello everyone, welcome to DigiBytes. I am Vavu Gupta, your Alteryx expert, and today we are going to learn about another interesting use case of Alteryx. In this video, we are going to cover that how we can divide the part of workflow into different portions and based on our requirement can run them into series format using the Alteryx control container tool. Then why wait? Let's start. Let's study the data on which we are going to work on. So we have three fields in our file, which is city, grade, and salary. Under city, we have all the city name. Under grade, we have grades like A plus A, B, etc. And under salary column, we have salary. So we have more sheets, but we will strict ourselves today only to this sheet A with these three fields. So what I want to do is in the first part of the workflow, I want to read this salary A sheet from this particular file and uh, add the prefix as uh, India underscore Kaziabad, India underscore Mohali. So for every record in city column, I want India underscore as a prefix in the column and save this file. And once this file is saved, then in the second part, I want to read this updated file and check in which rows that India underscore has been added into the city column. So this is what we are going to do in this workflow and see how we can organize this in a series format. So first part will be adding of the prefix India underscore. Then in the second part, reading this updated file, which has India underscore and find out that if every row has that India underscore. Move to Alteryx and see how we can do it. Let's drag in uh, input data tool from our in-out uh, tool palette and let's browse that file. So I will go to file. And I have to use the XLSX file. And this is our data set file. And we want to use the sheet. Uh, you can see that we are getting error because this file is open here. So I will close this file and refresh it. Now I can see these sheets. So as I said, we want to utilize salary A uh, for this particular uh, portion of the workflow. So I will click OK now. So you can see we have these three uh, particular columns that we needed from the sheet. Now what we want to do is we want to add prefix to every value of the city column. So I will drag in the formula tool. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to replace or I want to edit the value of the city column. So I will select here city column and I want to add prefix as India underscore. So I will write India underscore. And with the, that, I want it should be added with the city value, the current value. So India underscore will be added. So if I run, And see then the output has been generated with India underscore has been added. Now what I want to do is I want to write this output into the same file. So again I will set up connection and browse that file. This is the file and I click save. I want to overwrite yes. And I want to write salary A. Okay. So you can see this file will be getting overwritten. 
as salary A. So now if I I want to overwrite here, so I will just select this overwrite file and click on run. So now my first part of the workflow has been created as this. If I go to the file, I can see this has been added. But now what I want to do is I want to read the same updated file when I am uh, like updating it and immediately after that I want to access that updated data. If I try to do that in the same workflow, it will result in conflict as I am reading and writing into the same file. So what I want to do now is I want this portion and the second portion where I want to see records which has been updated come in series so that I can read the updated file. So for that what I will do is I will add this particular entire section into a tool which is called as control container. So I will search here control container and I will just add that. So I will move all these three tools into the control container and this is my control container added. So I will name it as part one and similarly I will create another part as part two and connect them in series. So simply like how we connect one tool from another tool with their anchors. So in the similar way, these control containers have these anchors as uh, starting and ending. So uh, in this way, like, uh, connection from one container to the another container can be made and this signifies that first this will run and then this will run because they are in series now. So again I want to read this uh, salary part, this file particular file and uh, the salary A sheet. But now what I want to do is I want to filter those records which has India. So what I'm going to do is I will create a custom filter where I will use a function called left where I will use the string length city and length first five characters if equals to India. So if it's equal to India then it will be shown Otherwise it will not and at the end I will add the browse tool although it's not needed here as we have very less number of records but if we are uh, doing this activity with thousands or millions of records and in that case we require the browse tool. So now let's run it. So you saw that First, this portion executed entirely, and once this is done, then the uh, 
a control was passed to this particular container and then this was executed. So in this case, we read the same file, updated it and again read the same file and uh, check the data. So in this way, uh, using control container, we can execute the portion of the workflows without uh, like creating multiple macros. Uh, instead, we can just use these different containers and put the portion of the workflow in one container and then in second and third and fourth, like whatever our requirement is and uh, execute the workflow in series. So now if you see th the data that we have here after manipulating, so dub India underscore was added because we added already uh, in the first execution. So it added an, uh, another India underscore uh, in the data set. Now here when we read the file, so it read the new updated section of the file. And then when we filtered out it based on India, we found that in all the records we have India. So 20 records were here, 20 records were here, and again 20 records. So from starting to end, we have maintained the integrity of the data, and at the same time, we were able to execute them one after another. You can write us on the comments or you can even mail us on the email that has been mentioned in the description section. Uh, we will try to answer your queries. And if you have more ideas or if you want us to create videos on certain topics, then you can also mention that. Hope this video will be helpful for you. Keep following our channel and our videos. And uh, if you have any feedbacks, do let us know. Thank you for watching.